Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to install the cracked version of Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon on my Steam Deck. And I'm going to do this whole process on my Steam Deck. So you don't need a PC required, you just need the Steam Deck and a internet connection. So if this is your thing, you like cracked games, you like emulation, you like um, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, this is basically all we do. So please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've downloaded the game onto my Steam Deck and it's an ISO format. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the Discover Store and then download Power ISO, which I've already done. If you don't have it, download it. So now I've opened Power ISO, I'm gonna open my ISO file. So it's in Downloads and then I'm at called 6 Rubicon Tanoki, this folder. All right, so now it's like an uh, yeah, uh, a zip file. So I'm gonna extract it. So find a location to place it. I'm gonna put it in my downloads folder. And then okay. So now I'm basically unzipping it. Um, so you realize that I'm installing this game without a PC. So I'm doing everything on the Steam Deck. So I downloaded the game on my Steam Deck uh, through BitTorrent. So I used the BitTorrent program to download this game. And now it's because it's an ISO format, I'm extracting it to a folder. And it's not that long. It's going to take around uh, less than two minutes. And it is a 60 gig file. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's on my SSD. So I guess it's a little bit faster. If you're doing it on an SD card, it might take longer. So uh, I'm trying to install these games without a PC. I normally would install it on a PC. I'll download it, the game on the PC, uh, mount, it, mount the ISO to the PC and install it, and then transfer the game folder to my Steam Deck. That's normally how I would do it. But uh, I've got a viewer saying that um, he didn't have access to a PC, I guess. Maybe he's using a Mac, or maybe he doesn't have a PC at all. Um, and how would he go about doing this? You could do it directly to your Steam Deck. So I did another video, uh, but that was a smaller game. That was WrestleQuest. That was like a 1.7 gigabyte game. This is an over 60 gig game. So I would like to also demonstrate how to install big games on your Steam Deck directly without a PC. So thank you for being patient. Normally I'll skip this part, probably I'll fast forward it. But yeah, it's not that long. It's like less than two minutes. So maybe I'll just do this in uh, real time. So you, you can see the whole process without any editing. So we're almost there. I don't really play this series, the Armored Code series. I haven't played any of them. So I don't think I'll play this one. But uh, if you're a fan of this series, yeah, lucky you. All right, so it's extracted now. Then I'm going to go back to my downloads folder and then I figured I messed up I can see there's a cracked folder so everything's like an armored core directory I should have created one but I didn't so see you can see the setup.exe and setup.bin it's all in the downloads folder so I messed up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open power ISO again I'm going to check which files needs to be uh, together so that's why I'm going to open the ISO again and then I can see, okay, the crack folder, auto run.inf, setup.bin, and setup.exe. So not a lot of files, luckily. So I'm just going to create a folder here called Armored Core 6. And then I'm just going to move those folders and files. So crack, auto run.inf, setup.bin, and setup.exe. So I'm just going to move these files to my created folder armored cloud 6 yeah so lucky it wasn't a lot of files else that would have been messy so now i'm going to open lutris i'm going to install the game through lutris because last time i installed the game through the steam i just run the setup the exe through steam you could do that but uh let's just do it a different way let's try to install it through lutris so click the plus button on the top left and then Give it the game a name, Armored Code 6. Okay, and then it's going to be installed to Games Armored Code 6. So now I select my setup file. 
So Armored Core 6, setup.exe, install. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So now it's creating the prefix folders. All right, so uh, the installer is here. I'm going to copy the crack. I'm going to not create a desktop shortcut and not create an installer. And it's going to be installed to my C drive games Armored Core 6 files of Rubicon. Uh, that's good. So I'm going to install it here. And yeah, let's do it in real time. It's not going to take too long considering the size of the game. It is kind of big. But yeah, you guys can fast forward it if you don't want to hear me blabbing on. But uh, it's not that long. So yeah, let's do it in real time without editing this video. It saves me some time from editing the video as well. So that's pretty cool. So as I was saying, I don't really play this series. Um, never been a fan of it. If I play Mac games, I normally play Gundam. Gundam games. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm more into the Japanese robots rather than uh, the Western robots. If it's a other, oh, is it Western? Uh, I guess so. It's more Western type feels like. Armored Cord series doesn't is it is it in the West or yeah I guess it is produced by Bandai Namco but uh by from software not really sure I'm not really into the series but uh, yeah it is a new game and so that's why I'm doing it and I did get a request for a viewer for this game as well so yeah if you're watching and you're that viewer lucky you. He didn't really request it. He, he like he gave me a tip. It's like, oh, um, you know, Ahmed Cod Six is out, and yeah, and I was just doing the video, so I just told him to watch out for the video. It's coming very soon. So be patient here. Just uh, let it install, and then after installing this game, I need to. There's a crack. There's a new crack. I think there's a new crack. Two point three crack. I downloaded that. That's like a two point seven megabyte file. So I downloaded that as well. So I'm going to overwrite the game folder with that crack. Because I think uh, the crack that the installer came with is a 2.2 version. And that one wasn't really complete. So they released a 2.3 version of the crack. So make sure you get an updated crack file. So we're almost there. So let me know in the comments, if you're watching this, uh, what games you're playing right now on the Steam Deck. I'm currently playing Red Dead Redemption on the Yuzu emulator. That's the game I'm playing right now. Haven't spent a lot of time on it, but yeah, I'm trying to get time to play that. Because it's summertime in Hong Kong now, so I'm going swimming along with my kids. All right, get ready. All right, so it's been installed. Okay. And then exit with return code nine. Okay, so here, um, I think there was a problem because normally it would just, it would just uh, exit, but it's not exiting. So I press abort and it, it's, it's not normal. So I was like wondering what happened. So I'm panicking a little bit. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure if, so if you have this similar issue, let me know. Uh, or if you got past this easily, like it, it, it went normal. Normally you just uh, would exit automatically and you and then there was be a launch button to launch the game but i didn't have it so something must have went wrong i guess so i'm going to the folder so i'm going to check if the game was installed so i'm going to games then armored code 6 then drive c games armored code 6 files of rubicon game and then i can see that the game's installed it has the exe files and all that so it looked pretty normal to me but i don't know why it's not like so i'm just gonna I bought it myself, but I'm not going to remove the game files. So I bought it and then I don't have the shortcut. 
So I'm, I was kind of stuck for a bit. But then I just did an, a different way. So first I'm going to apply the crack. See, I've got this crack file. Yeah, I'm going to copy it, I'll copy the contents of the crack file, and then I'm going to paste it into um, the place where I installed it. So yeah, just let me apply the crack first. So I'm applying the crack files, which is very fast because, and then I'm taking a look at the redistributable. So, so any dependencies that I might need, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Steam and I'm going to add a non-Steam game. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So that's why I took a look at the dependencies because um, I might need to install them if it doesn't work. So go to your Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse. Then I'm going to go to the location where I installed the game, home, games, armor Code 6, drive C, games, armor Code 6, BIOS of Rubicon, game, and then armor Code 6 exe That's where it is for me. So, and then I'm going to go into the properties. And then I'm just going to change it to compatibility uh, Proton Experimental. You can see that I didn't even change the name of the game. And normally I would change Armored Code 6.exe. I would change the name, but I'm not sure it will work because uh, I, I was afraid that something went wrong during the installation. So that's why I wasn't really confident. But yeah, it booted up the game just like that. So it wasn't too hard, actually. All right. From software, Bandai Namco. So now I know that the game works. I'm going to exit out of it. So yeah, obviously I can't connect to a server. So I'm going to quit the game. And then I'm going to change the name. Now I know it works, but I don't know why it doesn't stop. So I had to click stop, I guess. Uh, maybe if I waited a little bit longer, it might have stopped by itself. So go to properties again. Then I'm going to change the name. And I want the official name, Armored Code 6 Fires of Rubicon. And I didn't want to type it out. So I'm just going to copy it. And then paste it. Yeah, that's how I do it. Okay, so let's go to game mode. So I was planning to click on return to gaming mode, but then I figured I could just go to big picture mode. That's basically the same as game mode, but it, it is a little bit different. It doesn't have the Steam overlay. So yeah, let me know which one you would want me because if I go to like return to gaming mode, it takes a long time to boot up the system and all that. This is faster, but and then I I miss out on the Steam overlay, so you don't know the frames, how many frames it's running, and I guess, but it's running okay. I tried the game, it's okay. So first thing I do, if you're a fan of the channel, you probably know, I'll change the artwork, and official artwork is the way to go for me. You could do something different. You could use the third party ones if you like. That's just the way I like it. So here I'm just updating the artwork. So everything looks pretty and nice. And then I'm going to start the game. All right. So yeah, everything looks good. I don't know why Lutris had that little error. But uh, if I installed it another way, like if I installed it on my PC and transferred the folder, I think I'll be like, it'll be pretty much the same. It's just that the process was installed through Lutris. So I installed the game through Lutris. And I didn't have to transfer the, the folder. It might be a little bit faster because the installation process wasn't fast. It uh, wasn't slow. All right, there's, there's a little issue here. I couldn't pull up the virtual keyboard for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure is it because I'm using big picture mode. But yeah, I, I was connect since I was like on desktop mode and using big picture, um, I had the keyboard installed anyway, connected. So yeah, I just typed it on my keyboard. So let me know if you had issues with this. Like if you're running on game mode, I think it won't have this issue. 
I think the virtual keyboard would pop up. All right, so it takes a bit to load. Yeah, as, as I was saying, the game didn't take a long time to install, actually. It's a 60 gig file, installation file, and it didn't take too long to install. But if I transferred the whole folder, like through network to my Steam, from PC to Steam Deck, it might take some time. All right, so this is the first time I'm playing it, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just testing out the buttons right now. But yeah, it looks... Uh, the graphics are good. It's smooth. And yeah, I'm just figuring out where I should go. Alright. So I know I need to go to that blue dot. So I'm 200 meters away. All right. Still testing out the buttons. I kind of feel like that. You watch Avatar, the, those robots in Av Avatar. I feel like that now. <laughs> All right, so I guess I just shoot these little guys. Well, they're not little. They're just far away. Okay, got that out of the way. Yeah, so the game looks to be working fine. It's uh, running good. It wasn't a hard install, didn't have to install any dependencies. Um, so I guess you could do it different ways. You could install it on your PC and transfer the game folder and then just uh, add a non-Steam game on your on Steam. I think that would be an easy way. Uh, you probably didn't have to go through Lutris if you have a PC. Or if you don't have a PC, you could do it this way through Lutris. I think you could have just uh, run the setup file through Steam as well. So I guess I'll leave it here. Um, if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!